Hello guys, I welcome you back to Join Graphic Tutorials. In this session of tutorials, we are going to design a product label flyer. So before we get inside to create this wonderful flyer, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I just want you to consider subscribing to this amazing channel. And if you have done so, I just want to give you a thumbs up. So let's get inside in creating this wonderful flyer. So first of all, I just want us to start creating our flyer so let us give it a title as a label then let us set our width to 2000 and let us set our height to 1100 then our resolution is going to be a 300 then let's go and hit on create so guys this is the background that we are going to work on for our today's session of tutorial so before we begin with everything i just want us to set our guidelines so let's go to view and go to our guys and go to our new guy layout so i just want to bring this in so that everything that we do we know that it is just in the right alignment so this is what i just want to bring inside so first of all let's start to develop our wonderful background so first of all i just want us to set our foreground color to a code of 7 c 0 2 2 2 so this is the solid background that i just want us to set so let's go to our panel here and set our solid background so this is the background that we are going to use and let's go and change our foreground color and this time we are going to type a code of f six two f six three so this is the gradient that's or this is the foreground color that i just want to set now then we we'll go to our panel here and set our gradient so i just want us to set it to radial so this is what i just want to do and let's tilt the angle a little bit like this very nice and beautiful so let's go to our gradient bar and push the gradient bar a little bit forward like this so this is what i just want us to do very nice and amazing then you will just hit on ok and we are done with this background so let us add some exposure to our gradient here so let's go to this panel and go to our exposure and let's add a little exposure to it so le le let's let's add little exposure like this a very little one we don't want it to be so much so something like this is actually cool so i chose 0 0.03 this is what i just want to do very nice and amazing so let's go back to our layers now after we are done with this we are going to add other backgrounds to it so let's go to far and go to our place link so i just want us to bring this background inside so let's try to make sure that it covers the entire design like this very nice and very very amazing so let's change the blending option to something like screen something like this very nice and amazing then let's add some blur to it so i just want to add emotion blur to it to make it more wonderful and very very attractive so this is what i just want us to do very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and be adding a lot of things to it so i just want us to quickly bring in our strawberry so let's bring in our strawberry like this so we can resize it a little bit like this and place it at one corner like this very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and also bring our splash also inside so i just want us to bring also this one so let's make sure that we expand it a little bit like this very nice and very very amazing so we will just make sure that it just go under the strawberry like this so this is what i just want us to do so let's go on and bring also this one inside so we are going to expand this to the maximum size so let's expand it 
until we get the maximum size of this image that we have brought inside so i just want us to resize it to a level like this very nice and very very amazing so now after we are done with this i just want us to add some typography to it so i will pick my test tool and i will start typing so i just want to add a typography like hi so i'll make sure that it is actually a font called delicious so i just want to choose a font called delicious very nice and amazing and i want to take the delicious bold italic something like this so let's start typing so i just want to type something like hi then i'll select it and go to my test panel so i just want to increase the size to about 94 then the spaces between the tests also should be minus 75 like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what i just want to do very nice and very amazing so i just want to select it and add some strokes to it so i just want us to add a blue stroke like this of a size of 16 so i just chose a stroke and i gave it a size of 16 a blue stroke so something like this that i just want us to make very nice and amazing so control plus j or we can go on and also add some embossment to it so let's add some embossment to it so i just want us to add embossment like this to the test that we have just made i just chose a style of inner bevel then the technique should be a chisel soft so this is actually the settings that i use for the embossment so after that we will go on and hit on ok so ctrl plus j to duplicate this test then i will select the duplicate then i just want to type something like treat so let's type something like this treat very nice and amazing so after that let's reduce it a little bit like this so this is what i just want us to do very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and be adding some typography to what we have just done so i just want us to add something like this also to it so let's reduce the size a little bit so let's add something like 2000 ml so let's select it and give it actually a blue color something like this but i just want to also use um a font called um bad so I just want to use this font, Bada Boom. So this is the font that I just want to use for the 200 mil. So let's go on and give it a little space like this. Very nice and very, very amazing. So I can just decrease it a little bit like this under here. Very nice and very, very amazing so after i'm done with this i'll go on and duplicate this test again so ctrl plus j to duplicate this test so with this test we are going to type something like tick and creamy so we are going to type a test like this so i'm going to select this test and make sure that it is actually uh, a, a green color something like this very nice and very amazing so we are going to um resize this very small just then we put it at the top of the 200 mil so we can go on and increase the 200 mil a little bit like this to make it more nice and very very attractive so this is what i just 
wanted to do so after we are done with this we can go on and add our ingredients to it so i just want to type something like ingredients so let's type something like ingredients ingredients so i will select it and make sure that it is a white font then i'll make sure that it is also a roboto so let's choose a font called roboto medium something like this very nice and amazing then we are going to resize it a little bit like this very nice and amazing so i will just control plus t i just want to transform it so i just want to hold on control plus t then i will right click it and go to rotate 90 counterclockwise 90 degrees counterclockwise so i just want to do it like this very nice and very amazing so i will just place it just here very nice and very amazing so i'll go on and select the test ball so i'm going to add my ingredients in this test ball so let's go to our test here and pick our ingredients and copy them then we are going to place them here so control plus v to place them so i will select them and make sure that the size of the test is six so let's reduce the size to six the spaces of the size to six then we can do something like this very nice and amazing so let's increase the size of the gradient a little bit like this so we can go on and also give it a little spaces so we can go on and give it a space like this to make it more nice and very very amazing so this is what i just want us to do so control plus t and then we will right click it and turn it or rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise like this then we will just place it just under the ingredient so we can go on and select it and we can do it something like this to make it more nice and very very amazing so this is what i just want us to do so let's do some adjustments to what we have just done so in case you are having a lot of ingredients that you just want to add to it you can just select it and be adding a lot of ingredients that you just want to add to it to make it more amazing and more attractive so we just need to adjust the ingredients to make it more nice and amazing so this is what i just want us to do very nice and very very amazing so i just want us to add the where about of the product so let's go on and type something like about and let's select it and give it something like this so we can go on and give it a pink color like this very nice and amazing so i just want us to make it black to make it stand out from the other test very nice and amazing so it can be here something like this very nice and amazing so we can just be adding the informations of the flyer to this particular portion that i have just created so if there is any information about the product you just add it there to make it more simple and very very amazing so in case of this i just want to add a random test like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what i just want us to make so let us give this one some little space like this to make it more amazing and very very beautiful so after we are done with this we are going to add some uh, resources to it so let's go to our file and go to our place link and we are going to add this one also to it very nice and very very amazing so this is what i just also want to bring inside to make it more authentic and very amazing so this is where we have reached in our design 
very nice and very awesome so we can go on and bring other resources also to it to make it very very amazing so i just want to go to my place link and i just want to also bring this one also inside so we are going to place this one here like this very nice and amazing but we are going to select it and go to our filter blur and we are going to our motion blur so i just want us to give it a little motion blur like this very nice and very beautiful so after we are done with this we are going to also add some banner to it so i just want to add this banner to it to make it more beautiful and very very attractive so we can just um, turn it a side way like this to make it authentic and very very amazing so this what I just wanted us to do with this design so I can duplicate this thing also and bring also some of this one here very nice and amazing and we can also adjust this one a little bit like this to make it more beautiful and amazing at the center so guys we are done with this wonderful graphic design this is a label of a yogurt and i have placed all the resources just below the description so you can go on and download it and practice along with this tutorial so i just want to thank you for your time and we are going to meet another time again but if you haven't subscribed to this channel i just want you to consider and subscribe to this amazing channel and if you haven't shared i just want you to share so that it will reach to other people so i just want to thank you we are going to meet in another session of tutorial again bye bye